Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with Money Mondays. Yes, we are back. I'm feeling much better. Um, now if you're new here, Money Mondays is a collective reading that covers money and career. Completely uh, collective, not Zodiac specific. Um, these messages are timeless, so when you see them is when you're supposed to see them. Or sometimes you need to come back and get that refresher, right? So if you're new here, again, we always start off with a little bit of breath work, and that is taking three deep breaths in through the nose, holding it in your solar plexus, getting your stomach nice and tight, right? And as you inhale through the, your nose, you're going to um, take in higher vibrating energies. And when you exhale, you're going to exhale through your mouth, letting go of lower vibrating energies, right? We're going to do that as soon as I start shuffling the first deck. Before we do any of those things, I'm going to clear out any negativity uh, with some sound from my singing bowl. So we're going to start there, then I'm going to start shuffling while you guys are doing your breath work, and then we're going to get going, right? Let's get into it. All right. Now... For those of you who have been following me on Facebook, you know uh, today starts a six-month course on securing the bag from the inside out. It is my money course that talks about all of the things and all of the ways you should be healing your relationship with money before you try to manifest it. Again, that is completely free. Um, you guys should be seeing another video drop today if it hasn't dropped already. Um, with the intro to the class, you will be uh, getting a new upload from me every Thursday. I'm going to keep Money Monday, obviously, on Monday, and I will drop the course videos and tutorials on Thursdays. So if it hasn't dropped already, be on the lookout for that to drop later on today, okay? Okay. Now is when you should be doing your breath work, guys. Also, don't forget to catch me on the 30th. I will be going live on YouTube doing Q&A. You guys can ask me whatever you like. If you want to know about my journey, if you want to know how I started, um, where I'm at on my path, what I'm researching right now. If you want to ask me anything personal. Guys, join me on the 30th. It's going to be lit. Make sure you got a little cup of something. I'm going to be drinking. It's going to be a good time, okay? We're going to be discussing all of the new things happening with the channel, uh, especially going into the new year. All right. Now let's get down to business, right? <clears throat> let's get some uh, tea on our finances. I feel like this is a very good week. We're looking at money this week. We're looking at money coming in from unexpected places. You guys know when it comes to my readings, sometimes it's going to be mundane. Sometimes it's going to be life changing. I feel like we're right in the middle where, you know, something we weren't expecting is definitely going to turn around in our favor. Maybe somebody buys us groceries. Maybe somebody, you know, offers to pay a bill for us. Something that's more than a cup of coffee but less than a new car you know what i'm saying i definitely feel like this is one of the better weeks for money okay so look look y'all my girl already popping up the princess of cups the page of cups the two of swords the high priestess lots of feminine energy happening right now the six of wands and the Emperor. The Emperor's been coming up a lot for people. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. So, again, this is definitely a better week. The Six of Wands here talks about success. But before we even get there, we have the Page of Cups, the Princess of Cups, um, going into the Two of Swords and the High Priestess. High Priestess is all about the intuitive, right? The heightened sense of awareness. When we start talking about the Page of Cups and the Two of Swords, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are sitting on dreams, sitting on goals, sitting on ideas, but you don't have the capital for it. Here's the thing. 
sometimes you just got to take the leap, right? It's time to make the decision. Do you want to just keep dreaming forever? Or do you want to start putting plans to actions? Because as we move through just these cards, especially with the bottom of the deck being the king of swords, that is the authority card. That is the leadership card. It's time for you to take authority over the things you want to do and make the decision to do them. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this all, all of this started with one deck. I made the choice to buy that first deck, and now here we are, right? Sometimes you don't need as much capital as you think to get things going. Sometimes it just takes having enough authority and putting that into the dream, putting that into, you know, the decision. And I definitely feel like this week is a really good week to start that October is all about endings right October is about ending cycle well ending cycles but also just becoming aware of what has to go what needs to end right so when we talk about this week being such a great week for that you have to keep in mind that that also it doesn't just include tangible things it can also include um, stagnant energy. It can also include sitting at this crossroads, right? It's time to stop sitting at this crossroads and make the decision. Put authority into your dreams. Because I, I feel like putting authority into your dreams is what turns them into goals, which makes them tangible, right? As above, so below. Make it tangible. All of the fun stuff that I normally say, right? I definitely feel like there's a lot of power in these two cards as we move down the line with the rest of them. Because like coming into the high priestess, if you know you need to make the decision on whether or not to turn your dreams into reality, put authority behind your dreams. <clears throat> excuse me. You have to know and understand that for one, the resource, the resources will come to you. As long as you're making that decision to walk in your purpose, the resources will be there. I am a living testament that just making the decision and stepping out on faith will always make sure that the resources, that resources you need, the resources you're meant to have will be there for you. Okay? The high priestess comes in at also as a two card, which represents balance. Right here, we have crossroads, but here it's talking about balance, understanding the duality of the, you know, whole as above, so below in this particular case, taking your dreams from your crown chakra and bringing them into the physical, right? Getting these dreams of the, and, and, and messages and visions and all of the stuff that you're getting about this goal, about this purpose you're supposed to have and making them tangible. And I definitely feel like for a lot of you, this week is going to be the catalyst for your success. The Six of Wands energy, right? It's just a matter of saying, you know what? This is exactly what I want to do. This is how I want to move forward. And then the emperor, I feel like the emperor and the king of swords, we're talking about peak divine masculine energy. That's talking about being practical. That is action oriented, right? That's really pushing forward. I feel like there's a lot of duality in these six cards here, right? Where we have the princess and the high priestess, but then we're balancing that out with the king of swords and the, and, and the emperor. Um, divine masculine coming in a little bit heavier because, you know, we have a king and an emperor. Those are two very strong cards. And then we have air and we have fire, which brings out a lot of passion, right? A lot of action, a lot of forward movement. And I feel like this is the week for you guys to really start understanding, you know, where you want to put your actions. Where can you make the most benefit from your actions, this is just a really good week for us, guys. This is this is a win week. And I want you guys to understand that even if it doesn't feel like it, there is going to be something happening this week that's going to give you the aha moment that you're looking for. That that one thing that kind of ties everything else together when it comes to your money. But be open and be willing to receive that. You know, I say it all the time. 
being open and have discernment and awareness. That's really what it comes down to, right guys? I love this for us because it feels like the past few weeks have been rough. Mercury and her micro braids, child. I, I she ain't never retrograded as hard as she's been retrograded, which thankfully ended today. But it's time for us to come out of that, right? Now that it's not in retrograde anymore, we can start to focus. We can start to get our technology back, right? But even still, we can start to get our finances back on track because things have been rough over the past few weeks. Things have been very rough. And there's definitely a turnaround on the horizon starting with this week. We, we, we can see the light at the end of this retrograde tunnel, right? We can get there. We'll be able to do this, guys. Tr trust me. Let's keep pulling. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Yeah, Mercury Retrograde had us all tied up, child. Just a mess. But we're coming out of it. A lot of you may be feeling like you some of your money is tied up right now. People are waiting for checks. People are, you know, waiting for holds to come off of things at the bank. This week is going to be a big help to a lot of us. Yeah. That's a seven card, heavy intuition, goddess of the moon. This next full moon is gonna come with some heavy energy because a lot of the uh, planets that, that's, that was in retrograde are going direct. So we can get a little bit of reprieve. Yeah, cornucopia. This is a good week for us guys. Coming out of all of this retrograde energy, um, there is light at the end of the tunnel, definitely. Bottom of the deck is hostilities. I feel like that is just all of the chaos that's been over the past couple of weeks and us getting to the point where we've like, we've just had it. I've had enough, I'm over it, right? Um, I just feel like all of this is ending. All of this is shedding. This is all of the final residual things that we've been wanting to get rid of this retrograde season taught us all a lot now i'm gonna deviate a little bit from from the money and just talk straight forward this retrograde season taught us all a lot it brought a lot of things to the forefront a lot of truths about who we are what we're meant to do and about the people who are in our lives right and i feel like we are facing a huge turnaround. This retrograde season was its own tower moment for us, right? Across, just across the collective. And I definitely feel like as we move <clears throat> into November and definitely into 2022, this course correct, because that's what it is, it's a course correction, is going to shape us in ways that prepares us for amazing things in 2022 um all across the board but financially for sure 2022 is going to be about applying the knowledge that you've gained in 2021 um and it's about commitment to that application um 2022 is going to come with significant changes to a lot of us especially financially um because of the work that we're doing this year um understanding who we are when it comes to our financial finances excuse me and how do we heal when it comes to our finances so all of this it's almost like this week is like a precursor to 2022 we've had all of this struggling uh, happening these past couple of months couple of weeks and so now we're moving into a week of reprieve where we can say, you know what? I can breathe. Everything's not piling up on me at once. Things aren't going wrong. These random bills aren't popping up out of nowhere this week. I can breathe. 
there's going to be success this week for me. And I want you guys to live in this moment. Understand the frequency of this reprieve, of this glimpse into the future where you're coming out on top. Hold on to that frequency because that's how you start to shift your alignment, okay? I'm going to keep it short and sweet and wrap this up with uh, a pull from my personal deck that I created. The Secure the Bag Modern Money Oracle, which can be found at the link in the description. Again, guys, make sure you are checking it out um, every Thursday for the newest topic in this free six-month course on healing financially from financial trauma. Um, I am so excited to bring this to you guys. It's something that I'm super passionate about. And you know what? Let's just all heal together, you know? And then again, check me out on the 30th as I go live for a nice chill Q&A. I am drinking and I am answering any and all questions so long as y'all don't get too ignorant with it. All right. Yep, financial literacy and tiger's eye. Guys, tiger, uh, tiger's eye is a great money stone, but it is also an amazing stone for your root chakra. It helps you get grounded. It helps you, you know, really center yourself in the present, right? Bottom of the deck says make it make sense. So when we talk about financial literacy, it's understanding how your money works for you, right? It's really taking the time to research what it is you want, what it is you're trying to do, and how to get there. Um, a lot of you will be looking at stocks this week. I know the whole boom of stock market and, and looking at stocks and stuff has kind of died down. But there are some of you who are still very much interested. I definitely ex um, suggest doing your research. Some of you are looking at buying homes. I definitely suggest doing your research. There are so many hidden costs of buying a home and nobody talks about it, but they get you on the back end with so many different fees. Definitely make sure this is something that you are taking your time to research, right? Um, the more you know, the more you grow, of course. Um, <clears throat> and also, now is the time to understand budgets. Do not go into 2022 with the same financial habits you have now. It will not work for you. I'm telling you that right now. Whatever habits you have, when it comes to your finances, you have to change them. You have to step your game up. You cannot go into 2022 doing the same thing. You are going to find yourself... I know some of you are like, well, it worked for me this year. It will not work next year. It's time to reevaluate and elevate, okay? Bottom of the deck says make it make sense. How can you go back to finding tangible ways to get what you need, right? The card says when things don't add up and you feel a little lost, make it make sense. Go back to the basics. Make what you want tangible. Remove limiting belief systems and work from a place of peace. Getting back to the fundamentals will help you find your way back to alignment. Sometimes you have to take two steps back in order to take 10 steps forward. I definitely feel like this has been a two steps back type of month. So as we spring forward, it's almost like keep keep yourself level, keep yourself grounded and take the time to understand what it is you're trying to do. Okay? That is all I have for you guys this week. I want to keep it short and sweet, especially since we have other things coming down the pipeline this week. Um, so with that being said, I want you guys to take a deep breath, breathe. We made it through Mercury retrograde. And from here, we're going to move forward. And we're going to take this week as the win that it's going to be, right? I love you guys. And I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of love and light. And as always, I'm rooting for you. Until next time. Peace.